I have this crazy story about a Japanese game show called, it translates to, Do Not Proceed Crazy Youth. Okay. Have you ever heard of this? Nope. It's insane. It's so crazy. Okay. I don't know. Okay, this, I think this was like really popular in like the late 80s, early 90s. Black Mirror type stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't know how they got away with the majority of this. When was this? When was this? Yeah, when it happened. Like late eighties, nineties. Okay, got it. Like what I said. Sorry, I can't believe this. I'm trying to. I'm trying to imagine all. There, you have so much information. I forget small details. Okay, so an example of like a couple of the segments that they would run. Okay, they had two contestants that had to hitchhike from South Africa to Norway, and they couldn't. They just had to hitchhike. And oh, that's beast. Right, and one of the dudes got like lost in the Sahara. And like couldn't find his way out and like almost died. And so that's the t- the theme yeah. of this show is just like, it's insane. And then another one, they put two contestants on a desert island and they had to build a raft and make it back to Tokyo. And it took them four months oh my <laughs> and they almost starved to death. So there, there's, there's no like parameters like, hey, and you're going to have this and we're going to have teams checking in. Like, it's like, no, it's just, yeah, we're going to fly like, you somewhere and you have to get back. <laughs> This is the worst one, though, and it's this is the Black Mirror type stuff. Okay. This guy, I don't know how to say his uh, name in Japanese, but his nickname was Nasubi, mm-hmm. and he volunteered to be part of this game show. Didn't know what he was going to do, what it was going to take to win or yeah, whatever. What a cool opportunity to be on a TV show. Yep. He was kidnapped, blindfolded, and then taken to an empty apartment and told to strip naked immediately they took his clothes the room the apartment was completely empty except it had a functioning toilet and this giant rack of magazines and for him to win he had to play all the sweepstakes in the magazines to collect a million dollars worth of prizes and for his food he would have to win sweepstakes to win food so they would deliver food to this apartment and (laughs) I have seen this. You have? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is where it gets crazy. How are we reading if we're blindfolded here? How he's blind, did he's they kidnapped. Unblind? They, they took they him. They they unblind. Unblind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was confused in my house. No, that was that, a valid question. That'd be hard. They blindfolded him, took him there, took yeah. off the blindfold. Yeah, you, for, you remember the strip naked part? That was including the blindfold. Okay. But it took um, just over a year. No contact with the outside Over world. a year for this game show? Yes. Do they wa- live stream it or like this what is, is what's messed up? Yep. So they gave him a camera and they're like, film yourself and this will be the show. So he was filming himself, but they had cameras Dude. set up to where it was a 24 seven live stream. And so there was millions of people watching him go crazy and he's butt naked too. And so like no privacy. Oh my goodness. And he got to a point to where he almost starved. And so they had to bring him uh, some uh, bread and water. And then he won a giant bag of rice ate the rice, was about to starve again, and then one of the sweepstakes, he won a bag of dog food, ate the dog food, finally got to the million, right? The producers are like, this show is such a hit. So they're like, they're like you won, blindfolded again. Took him to another empty apartment. Did he choose to do this? He could, okay, so the thing is. He could have backed out. They said the door's unlocked, you can leave at any time. But he was like determined to win. Yeah. But then like, you go crazy himself. Yeah, you go crazy. And then they put him in another apartment, a different location. Same thing. Had to win uh, sweepstakes to get a ticket to fly back to Japan. And then he did it. He was so good at the, the game now. Yeah. He did it in like a couple weeks. And the producer was like, oh, no, this is too early. So he said, no, it actually has to be a first class ticket. And he'd still, he did it in a couple weeks. At this point, dude, he's like skinny. His hair's wild. His eyes are just like insane. Take him again, blindfold him, put him in this apartment. What is happening? Listen to this. What? He was so like used to this life yeah. that he like they undid the blindfold, he immediately got naked and like sat down on the floor and then the oh. walls dropped and he was on set of the game show and then it was like, "You won." And he's just And he's freaking out. He's like He's naked. He's naked and he's freaking out and he's like, ah, ah, ah. 
And then Oh, I'd did. be tuning into Dude. that, boy. I'm Dude. telling you oh, that. Million, but he had no idea millions of people were watching him. Dude, thought, all the time. Yeah, constantly. All the time. Oh, my And God. then he talked about, they did an interview with him like years and years later. And he says, basically, the amount of psychological damage that is done to me is irreversible. That's so He crazy. says to wear clothes, it's constantly itchy for him. Jeez. And like he has a hard time talking to people because he was so secluded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine. That's like prison. Like, you know, people get that so used to yeah, prison. Like they, like, they would rather just, like, go back into prison because they, like, that's, yeah. he just got used to, oh, my goodness, that's so scary. But he won. <laughs> you, so. What are you complaining for, bud? Come okay, on. Come on. Yeah, you won real. a game show. That's crazy. For a full year? Yikes. Yeah, Dude. so it was, a, oh, it was a year and a half total. Imagine uh, if For the done. three stints, it was a year and a half. Do what? Like, for the three stints, like, the three different apartments, it was a year and a half? Yeah, total was a year and a half. That's crazy. You think you'd rebound from that? Yeah, you'd yeah. just be like, "All right, that." Yeah, I, I think this. We'll, get, we'll get over that. I remember college? <laughs> but isn't that crazy? Like the psychological nature of like they're like the doors open. Yeah, but they said if you left, no one can. No one's going to help you. So you're going to have to go find help, but naked. Oh yeah. And so he's like, well, "I'm just going to." Man, yeah. How hard can it be? Do the sweepstakes, and then you just get lost in it. Yeah, man. Can we do that? Can so we experiment? So with that? Should we do it in here? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's live stream the podcast, guys. Um, but yeah, Nightmare Golly. Fuel. That, does dude, that sound like Black Mirror, though? That that uh, last one for sure does. Well, like, okay, especially because it's I'll just... I'll show you the video. It's so sad where the door... Because he's just like, gets naked. And he sits at the table. And then it's like the door shop. And he's like freaking out. Yeah, as you and would. there's hundreds of people clapping. There's like confetti. And it's like... Boom, do, do, do. It's like the golden buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> dude. So, yeah, I don't like that part. But like the first two, like... The hiking part, I'd tune in. Yeah, yeah that's but, entertaining. But also, the most genius thing to do as a uh, as a creator of a show, all you have to pay for is GoPros and some yeah. batteries, and say that's we're dropping you off here. Get there, there, record everything, and give us the memory card when you're done. <laughs> like, like that's yeah. 